G'day guys, back again. Today uh, I've got my young fella with me, Joel, there behind the camera. And uh, we're heading off on an afternoon fallow deer meat hunt. Um, with a bit of a twist this time, we've got a bow hunter. So um, I've taken a few bow hunters out before and been unsuccessful. They've fired shots and they've hit, put arrows in animals but haven't been able to put one down. Um, I take my hat off to experienced bow hunters but um, yeah, if, you, if you're wanting to get into bow hunting, my best advice would be go out and shoot a few deer with your rifle first, unless you've been brought up with it from a kid and been shooting bow and arrows and stuff like that, and um, know exactly what you're doing. You've got to put a lot of time into bow hunting, a lot of practice, getting your distances, gauging your distances, getting your shots right and all that sort of stuff. But enough of that. Um, so this is going to be a reasonably challenging trip because we've got the odds against us as well. We've got rain um, and we've got wind and we've also got a bow hunter. So uh, that's going to be challenging alone on its own, but also um, we've got a, a rifle hunter with the bow hunter as well. So I'm going to sit Joel and the rifle hunter somewhere while I take the bow hunter into the scrub and we'll do a bit of bush talking and hopefully we can get up close and personal with a fellow deer and he can nail one with the bow. So stick with us and see how we get along. Cheers. Go, Blake. Always ready, eh? Hey guys, Matt here. Um, come out to Ohini Rada hunting today for a couple fellow, hopefully. And uh, saw a couple videos on YouTube, thought it might be quite nice, so I got in touch with them and. Was well, that Tuesday and here we are Sunday, away we go, five hours later in the ute and I'm here. So we've got the bow today, so we've got Victory 350 spine arrows with 125 grain razor cut whitetail specials, Grim Reapers. They should pretty much do the trick, open up when you go in, nice round hole through them. And then we've got the... Uh, Garmin 0A1i, which is, you know, pricey, but it's worth it. Got the range finder. Just push a little button here, and it ranges, puts the pin. I just pretty much, just like a gun, dot it on where I want to go and release. So I've got, I'm shooting with the um, old Bowtech Revolt, which is oh, about a month old now. Hasn't seen a deer yet, it's seen about seven goats. About three months into my bow hunting career and shot 12 goats now. I've kind of team shot a deer with my mate who got a bit trigger happy. <laughs> and then um, also got two turkeys, which was just last Wednesday. So, nah, awesome, mate. Yeah, hopefully, we can put a deer on the radar today. Hopefully. Um, we did a bit of a video on the way here and it was blowing and raining and uh, it's rain's not so bad when you're hunting but uh, you get a combination of the wind as well makes it a little bit harder but uh, the wind's actually sort of died off a little bit touch wood hopefully it stays like that so we've just got a little bit of drizzly weather and the spring weather drizzly spring weather is actually perfect uh, a little bit of warmth and a little bit of rain is actually not too bad the deer don't mind it so um, we've got a nice little patch of bush up here we can stalk around so we're going to do a bit of bush stalking today with the boat and hopefully get it all on video and hopefully do a nice clean shot we'll see we'll see how we go fingers crossed let's get into it eh <laughs> Beautiful. Right, so we've got to our um, destination. So the wind's not in our favour here, but um, we've got a bit of a plan. We're going to hunt with the wind sort of semi up our ass, up this first side, and then we've got another side over there that we're going to concentrate mostly on. But the wind's going to be swirling a little bit anyway, as it does in the bush. So um, just because it's blowing this way down here, it is probably going to be blowing all sorts of directions once we get into the bush with all the different ridges and bits and pieces, so we'll just see how we go I suppose. Um, <laughs> let's go, there's only, uh, must be about half past 12 or something like that now, so um, yeah, hopefully we're not here till dark, but you never know. four different colour phases in here.
me, 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 me. <laughs> well, we snuck into what it was nine meters of my rangefinder, had him done, ready to pull the trigger. Bloody sheep. Bloody sheep spooked it. Walked straight past him, saw me out the corner of his eye, and there we <laughs> go. God, and we, we, there's some more deer coming out on the edge here, but we um, thought, no, we've got these ones here, they're sitting ducks almost, and uh, it wasn't for that year and him. One last option, um, we'll go back to the bike and we'll whiz back up to the top and we'll try this hedge on it, it's pretty good. Oh yeah, it's going to die, you can see it, yep, the snakes are giving out. Oh man. Just, I think I got just behind his foreleg, maybe even taken out. Oh. Just behind one shoulder, might have come out the other shoulder. Oh, good stuff, mate. Might be quartering on, so. It looked like it was just going to die. Oh. I was trying to say to you, just walk over here. Yeah, they were coming around, but they, I couldn't move because every time you said that, they were looking at me, <laughs> mate. If I move, I'm going to ruin this, and then, literally, if I didn't take that shot, when I did, they were going to go on. That was he was, she was Lily. She went tense, and I took it. And then that, not the other three of them walked that way. And I was like, oh, that's it, that's it. I need to take my shot now. <laughs> oh, awesome! Didn't quite get it on film, but I think I got you um, releasing the arrow. Um, we just seen the deer disappear. So they go a fair way when they shot with an arrow. Oh yeah, 
Yeah. But uh, I can see the I've seen it before with the rifle. Its back legs started to speed up quite yeah. quite fast. And the um, only thing is, mate, it's um, a bit of a carry back up there. <laughs> but yeah, it's just on the other side of that ridge. I'm pretty sure, hundred percent sure of it. Mean. Good shit, bro. So stoked, man. Thank you very much. Ah, sweet as. Freaking awesome. <laughs> you! Oh, at least, oh. at least we got one. I finally got someone. Didn't get it on film as such, but. Um, you have a good photo with the bow and everything in front of it. Yeah. Get a copy there, mate. So stoked, man. Good day out hunting, guys. You! Listen, listen. There's another deer. Between you and us, Joel. Oh, yeah, it's just behind us. Um, he's already shot one with the bow, mate. So, um, yeah, it's all good. Just bring the bike around, my friend. Sweet, it's ran a fair way. You got a, f a decent carry back up the hill, Joel. <laughs> So we had a little bit of trouble finding it because uh, it looked like it ran around this face and died but uh, Blake's actually found it down down over there but um, thank God for the dog because I don't think we would have found it without him I'm pretty sure he's found it he showed me the signs like he'd found it but um, I don't think yeah, we would have found it in an open paddock like this but it's um, there's heaps of little guts and gullies and bits and pieces here comes Blakey back here hopefully he's got blood on his tongue 